try and explain how I take photos of myself with the camera on a tripod um, and then with like a large aperture so you get the beautiful blurry background I'm gonna show you some photos I took of myself here in the backyard um, and I have some videos on how I kind of did it but I filmed it with my phone so this time I'm going to do it again I film it with this camera uh, and I'm gonna try to explain the settings on my camera it is maybe starting to rain now okay but anyway so I use a Nikon this is actually my old camera and it's a Nikon D600 I use the D750 a lot in the studio but I like to have this one on the tripod ready to go for when I feel in the mood to take a photo when I'm wearing like a nice outfit and I have some time in between sessions or before picking the kids up from school or whatever I have this one on the tripod the lens is on there because uh, I use another lens in the studio and then I can just carry it outside I know where to place it I know which background I like for when the sun is coming in or when it's just like shade all over the place and then I can just quickly take a photo so I don't use a remote control I don't use my phone I could because the camera has Wi-Fi or at least the D750 has uh, this one doesn't I think um, but I just it's very slow when I use my phone and it just slows me down with the remote you have something in your hand I did have a remote I don't know where it is I lost it in the move so I just use the interval timing shooting mode on the camera and then it automatically takes photos. However, it's on manual mode. So I determine the camera settings beforehand and then it's on autofocus continuing. So A, F, line C. As far as the focus area, normally I would have like a single focus point but because I want the camera to determine where I am um, so what should be sharp and what should be blurry uh, it's on auto so I'm going to show you in the camera what it looks like and then I'm going to take some photos of myself bought this dress for my birthday I have some beautiful flowers which are always in bloom at my birthday so I'm going to use them and then uh, maybe take some full body shots maybe some close-ups um, just to show you how I do it I actually took some family portraits of myself with the kids and Jamie as well. Jamie just joined in. I thought first, okay, I'm just going to try to do me and the kids. So I bribed them with some candy and <laughs> they wore the outfits that I chose for them. And then we had a, a few cool shots of the three of us. And then suddenly Jamie came in and she was smiling at the camera. While there was no one standing near the camera, it was just on the tripod. So it's really cool. Um, so yeah, this is my sweet spot. So pretty much where the camera is standing, I will be standing somewhere behind it pretty much. So we have like some leaves in the front and then like a beautiful decor in the back. So this is a camera I will be using with the Sigma Art 105mm lens on it. Um, actually the D600 Nikon cameras, there was something wrong with it. So you had to get the sensor cleaned, but like there was something wrong like dust coming into the mirror. I don't know. But mine was fine and I have the D610 as well as my backup camera. So this is like my backup backup camera. So this is where the magic happens. So this is a button that you have to remember, at least on this camera. So this is what you want. Here you can change it to like a 5 focus point. D9, D21, D39, 3D. I have it on auto. And then here you can change if you want to have AF automatic, AF continuous. AF single, so that's the autofocus. So I have it on continuous and then on auto, and that's what does the magic. Okay, so I'm actually have you look through my camera lens. So there you go. This is what you see. So here we are. We are in the shooting menu, and I have the interval timer shooting function, which I really like. So I have it set at taking a photo every three seconds, I think, and it takes 11 photos. Yeah, so the interval is three. I mean, you can determine for yourself what you like. And I have 11 photos. I don't know why. It's just a random number. And then I just press on, I press OK, and then it starts taking photos. Um, somewhere halfway the second photo, I run into the screen and then the camera needs to focus on me. So here we go. So first I get it on the spot where I want to take a photo of course. 
And what I like about this tripod, it's a Karuba tripod. Nothing sponsored, I just bought it myself. Uh, you can have like a horizontal photo, but you can also put it vertical, like in portrait mode, which I really like. Um, so what I first do is I take a photo of the decor, just seeing how my light is in the photo. So I know I want to have my aperture wide open. So I put it at 1.4. I know I have a lot of light outside, so I can use an ISO of 100. That's fine. So I use my shutter speed to determine the amount of light I want to have in my photo. Um, in this case, I don't want to go any lower than 1 slash 200 for my shutter speed. So I don't get blurry photos. Um, it'll be faster because there's a lot of light. But if there isn't a lot of light, I will not go any slower than 1 slash 200. And instead, I'll increase my ISO. I mean, ISO 1250, ISO, it doesn't matter. It's a full frame camera, so you don't get a lot of noise in your photos. Grain. Um, you can go pretty high in your ISO. So I've just taken a photo of the decor. It's a little bit too dark. The shutter speed was at 1 slash 1250. So I'll try 1 slash 800. And that's pretty good. Of course, when I'm in there, it'll be different. If I'm wearing like a white dress, there's a lot of light in the photo sometimes. So I still want to increase my shutter speed. But yeah you just have to run back and forth a few times so i set the camera settings it's on manual mode so right now i have shutter speed 1 slash 800 aperture 1.4 and iso is 100 so i'm gonna go there uh and take the photo okay, so this is the photo i just took off the screen so now i kind of know how i want the light In focus. It's okay. okay. So I know now I want to put it up a little bit higher. Okay, so these flowers are called peonies and I absolutely love them. So pretty much every year at my birthday you can buy them everywhere. Um, so I take some photos of myself with the peonies. So here we go. I'm actually taking some photos with my birthday cake. I don't know if you can see, it's a bit bright outside. I'm taking some photos with these really cool wooden letters um, showing my age. I'm gonna try and take some photos of myself now. Um, so I have my tripod with me. So yeah, I also brought like a funny hat and a scarf. Um, Cause I wanna see if I, I wanna edit the photos them uh, in a really like golden way and then make them look a little bit old fashioned. So the hat is like a woolen hat. Okay, so we're here. Here you see my background for the photos. My aperture 1.4, shutter speed 250, ISO 100. So yeah, look how beautiful it is. <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit to get myself in the photo the way I want. And it's starting to rain, but we're pretty good still.
I think I have a good shot and I mean, it was fun to practice anyway and now I think my son is losing his patience uh, he's actually watching uh, cartoons on my phone using my internet uh, so let's go to the thrift store okay so look for like a shady spot in not a shady spot you don't want to go for a shady spot in your own backyard but anyway a spot with shadow shade in your own backyard um, so that when the sun comes out even though it's midday I'm gonna show you whenever that happens just a fragment here did Jamie just pee on my broccoli plants? Jamie come here I have some tomato broccoli and um, raspberries there anyway don't pee on them so yeah in this case it's just an overcast day so I can shoot wherever I want but I like this tree in the front and then the tree in the back because it gives like a nice depth and stuff and I like the colors here so look for like a sweet spot in your backyard where there is some um, shade maybe during the day you want to take a quick photo of yourself or um, yeah I mean if you have golden sunlight in your backyard go for that but that's the time when I you know I'm busy bring the kids to sleep and then I'm wearing my own pajamas and just done with the day so midday usually works because then I have some time in between you know school runs and shoots and everything um, so I like this I love this spot in my backyard but in the winter it'll be different because then there won't be that many leaves but then I mean I still have lots of space in my uh, backyard so I could have chosen another background as well but I quite like this one uh, but anyway it wasn't about the background it wasn't about choosing where the light comes from and everything it was about how to take photos of yourself uh, with your camera on a tripod like which settings to use and um, yeah I hope it helps a little bit I know when I explain I can be like all over the place uh, but very important put it autofocus continuous and then the autofocus area not like a single point of autofocus but just like auto autofocus and then I just use my interval timer shooting and make sure that you have your settings correctly um, yourself so you determine the aperture you determine the ISO you determine the shutter speed and then um, yeah hope to see your photos let's see and when you have like a photo of yourself uh, taken with the timer and everything and you have like a behind the scenes photo and then your final photo I would love to see that on Instagram so yeah you can tag me or something I don't know thank you for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and leave a comment love reading your comments and then hopefully uh, I can see you in the comments and you can see me, maybe Jamie, in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye.